This is the real winning edge. It's a Native American student who knows how to stay on top. A music artist who loses his sight, but not his hope. A basketball player who fights to make it into college in spite of family tragedy. It's celebrities who let you know what it takes to win in life. Jerome Davis, Heather Williams, and Lisa Leslie. This is How to Overcome. See how you can overcome when life gets tough. Hi, I'm Lisa Leslie. Find out how to have the real winning edge over life's challenges. He can ride out the most difficult challenges when we return. I'm Jerome Davis. I was one of the original founders of the Professional Bull Riders. I was one of the top bull riders in the world until the bull put me in this wheelchair. Bull riding is a lot like life. You gotta love what you do, and you gotta hang on. That's why I admire this young man. Growing up on the Navajo Reservation in New Mexico, his grandmother inspired him with a deep love of nature, the stamina to go the distance in life. He's a bull rider, cross country runner, a U.S. Forest Service firefighter, an environmental scientist scholar. This young man has got the real winning edge. I was just hurting so bad, I really, I could barely walk. Uh, you know, my arms, my chest area, my legs were you know, pretty smashed and bruised up pretty bad. When it comes to injuries from bull riding, I mean, that's all, that's all part of the game. I decided at a real young age, you know, that's what I wanted to do, and you know, I've always wanted to be a, a bull rider. I was kind of scared at first. He's come a long way ever since. I put him on a sheep that they called mutton busting. Then he went into the calves. Then he went up to the steers, and then the juniors, and then all the way to high school pros. Preparing myself for bull riding, you know, it really does take a lot uh, physically, uh, running, lifting. You know, that's only a, a, par a portion of it. The other 90 is uh, mentally, you know, uh, mentally getting ready for it. The belt buckle that I got on, it reads uh, Central Arizona College Rodeo uh, Bull Riding Champion. And uh, you know how I've earned this uh, award is, uh, you know, competing in the uh, college rodeo program. I think the, uh, the worst injury that I had was when I was uh, entered up for a rodeo down in uh, Phoenix in the bull riding event. I drew a pretty ranked bull, came out spinning right out of the chute, and yeah, I really did take a beating that day. And I was probably out for about two weeks, you know, before I could even walk. But never once did I doubt, you know, getting back on because, you know, I have so much love for the sport. My parents always shared with me the importance of exercising. And um, my mom, she did a lot of cross country running in her younger days. So going into high school, um, I wasn't always the fastest. I set my goals to practice hard, run hard. So, you know, when it came to the to cross country meets, you know, I would, I would do very well. I was encouraging him to go to state every year. And if he either runs good, has a good time, that he'll come out with a scholarship. And that'll get him through college. And then from there, he can run cross country for the college. I've received through uh, cross country a lot of recognitions for being a district champion within the cross country and track. And moving on to you know, higher, higher competitions at the state level, you know, I was also named a state champion. Dwight, the Environmental Science and Natural Resources Program, he's also a great role model. You don't find very, very many students these days that have that uh, discipline and, and respect for other people, and I see that in him. Currently majoring in environmental science with an emphasis in natural resources. And I've always been interested in science, especially you know, dealing with uh, plants and trees. Some of my goals that I've uh, set in life 
you know, is to graduate from a university, you know, with a master's, PhD. Study, get the good grades, and then do what your sport is. He believes it, he lives it, he walks it. As they say, he walks the talk. So, that's Dwight. I filled out an application with the U.S. Forest Service internship program for the summer. I got a call from uh, Big Timber, Montana. They offered me a position. I then enlisted into being a wildland firefighter. Having to put in all the hard work and all the hiking and tools, you know, you got to carry your own food, your own tent. You know, there was times that, you know, that I've, I've gotten a little frightened, you know, being way out in a strange country that I've never been in before. But with all my uh, family that I know that I stand, have standing behind me, supporting me. He had to go like eight days at a time, camping without a shower and packing in 80 pounds of uh, gear. So he's that kind of person. When he makes that commitment, he's there, he's, he's ready to roll. Some of the challenges that I've uh, come across, you know, growing up, uh, especially here on the uh, Native community, alcohol and drugs plays a huge part, you know, not, not only among uh, our Native community, but, you know, across the country as well. So there's other uh, obstacles, you know, that have came up along the way, uh, such as poverty, you know, within uh, some, some communities in the local areas. I do have uh, some younger uh, relatives who've gone down a, a rough path and, you know, I always, I always give my guidance and, you know, my good words. It's all about making choice, do what path you want to go down. Another part of the challenges on, you know, growing up was uh, the education part. It really wasn't uh, stressed to myself, uh, among others, on continuing education. I believe that uh, God has, you know, blessed me to help the community and letting them know that it, it's okay to you know to further to go further on and excel. Tells them I'm gonna go for this, I tell them go for it. I'm gonna go for this one and go for that one too. Go for all of it. Everything will fall together. You'll be a good man. A good man. My faith in God has given me the ability to excel in uh, many of the things that I've uh, never dreamed of doing, you know, such as uh, school, running uh, bull riding and uh, you know being a, a wildland firefighter and it's it's given me uh, a hope you know for future especially you know obstacles that come up along you know my, my journeys in life and you know to, to to get through you know some hardships and some tough times you know I've never I've never given my faith up or my hope 